Great friend, Timberlake here. I got a great classic for you. I'm going to do a live solve. This is a classic Sudoku by Turganis. I found it on the CTC Discord server. It's pretty new, uh, just in time for Christmas. And by the time I release this, Christmas will probably already pass. So I wish you happy holidays for all the holidays you do celebrate. Uh, with that, it's solving time. I am going to show all the candidates because I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty difficult puzzle. What I can notice off the bat is that we have a 3-9 naked pair right up here in row 1. So that means we can get rid of the 3 and 9. I'll put that as an 8, and that will be a 2, and that will be a 4. We can also get rid of all the other 3s and 9s across row 1. It gives us a 4-5-6 pair. And there's only one, 1 left, so we can solve that for a 1. All right, coming across down, uh, I can see that 2s are limited here in uh, block one to row two not that's not that big of a deal the eights and nines are limited right here so that might be a little helpful they're limited to row two over here in block three so i have an eight and eight a nine and a nine okay i already made those eliminations three four six but the sevens are limited in row three so we can get rid of all these sevens this is a claiming pair of sevens great and moving on I'm going to go down here in row uh, four, and now in row five. I'm just kind of scanning for the can to see if there's any hidden singles here. Oh, I do have a six by itself, and that's a nine, that's an eight, that's a two, one seven. So we just clean up that area. One three. I uh, got a five nine five nine, so that has to be a three, and that's a one. All right, making pretty short work right here. Two five. It can't be a five. It's got to be a four eight uh, naked pair. Oh, one singular nine there. A six three eight naked pair. So that has to be a five. Now you're like, well, Timberlake, this isn't so hard. Um, maybe it's just my amazing skill. Uh, but I have a feeling we are going to get it a little bit harder here. And we should be able to push right through this puzzle. We only have one one down here in row nine. So I can solve that for a one. Gives us a three, four, eight triple right here. I'll just show the triple because that's just what, happened, what I happen to see first. And I try to use purple for threes. So you can see three, four, eight are limited to those three spots. That has to be a five. And really, you could just go, hey, that's a hidden single five. Either way, we'll solve. Uh, now we have this three eight come up here, so we know that's a nine, and that's a three. Uh, we have we can solve a two, three five, three five seven. Again, solve quite a lot of the candidates here, which is nice. That helps us get through this puzzle. I am now going to go to the filtering. All the ones have been solved. We have one singular two there. Can't do anything with these twos. Uh, we now have a 4-8 pair up here. It means this has to be a 7, and that's a 9. And we have a 3-4 come across row 3, so that has to be a 6. Okay. Still moving quite along here pretty quickly. Great. Let's go on to the 3s. What do I have for the 3s? I have uh, this 3-4. That's a strong link. I'm trying to see if I can use that to help solve the puzzle. I really can't. And that's okay. Let's move on to uh, the fours. And what do we have here with the fours? Hmm. Uh, we have a pointing pair. So, I mean, this can't be a four right there. And same thing. You could have looked down column eight as well. All right, going to the fives. So far, we're making pretty quick work. Uh, yeah, no, really, no elimination with the fives. Another thing I can do with the sixes, even though these are all by value cells, yeah, you have eight, six, six, four. They aren't the same. There's no two same candidates, so it doesn't really help uh, with the solving. Oh, some easy hidden single sevens. I'm sorry, I missed that sooner. Sevens are all done. Let's go to the eights. What do we have with the eights here? Uh, no big problem. Okay. And then the nines. I don't see anything there. I'm here. Next one. I have a feeling uh, the answers we're looking for are going to be contained in looking through these candidates. So what do I have? 3, 5, 3, 4. Do I have a 4, 5? I have a 4, 5 up here, but it doesn't interact with the 3, 5, and 3, 4. It interacts with this 3, 4. I have uh, 2, 4, 8. I have a 3, 8. Um, 4, 8, 4, 8. So I do have the makings of... Oh, a W wing, but there's no elimination, so it's not worth uh, considering. Okay. 
what else do we have here? Nine, three, three, four. Do we have a four or nine? No. Two, five, two, three, and uh, three, six. Three, six, two, three. Do I have a two, six? No, so I'm kind of just looking and seeing what type of pairs we have candidate wise. A two, five, five, six. Do we have a two, six? Nope. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to get this pretty quick here. You know, we have this four, six, eight triple. That gives us something to work with. Eight, four, four, six, six, five, five, four. Okay, four, three, three, four. Interesting. Uh, four. How did I do that? All right. What do we have here? Let's see here. We have a three, six, a six, eight. I think there's something here. Three six a six eight eight four four six six five right five four four three three four uh, doesn't play down uh, no big deal there. Okay, what else? I want to make just kind of an easy solve to move forward. I'm sure if you see something, you're probably screaming. Timberlake, I can't believe you got so behind on this puzzle. It's not that hard. Yeah, so we do have, uh, yeah, I see it now. I'm sorry. You probably are like, gosh, how could you go right over that? X, Y, wing. Three, five, six, right? So here's your pivot. Here's your pinchers. This is a five. That's a three. If this is a six. That's a three. So whoever these two LCs can't be a three, so we can eliminate the three right there. That's a nine. X, Y, wing. Great. Now, by solving that 9, now we only have one 9 left here. And then you get a 5, we got a 9. I'll get rid of this so it won't be too distracting. And I've eliminated all the 9s. Okay, and what else did that do for our puzzle? We have, I'll just go right back to the candidates real quick. Nothing else I can do with the 2s. The threes, we've got a pointing pair, so we can get rid of that three. It gives us a two, four. Nice. We have a pointing pair here, so we can get rid of that three. Nice. And go to the fours. Nothing else I can do elimination-wise with those fours. I'm trying to see if there might be another uh, X, Y wing, actually, is what I'm looking at. Okay, uh, the fives, nothing there. Look at the sixes. Like I said, really no further elimination with the sixes until we solve at least one of those sixes. And then the eights, hmm. All right, let's go back to the X, Y part. Interesting, interesting. So three, eight, five, eight. Do we have a three, five? We do. We've already solved the spot that sees both of these. Cool. Uh, four, six, six, eight, eight, four, right? Three, eight, three, four. Do we have a four? Yeah, we have a four, eight down there. Uh, I wonder, huh? A feeling we can get a solve that will get us over to here. Eight, I'm going to look at an X, Y chain, you know, so it's all strong and weak links. Eight to the four. 48, 8 to the 4, 4 to the 3, 3 of the 4, 4 of the 2, 2 to the 3, 3 to the 6, 6 to the 8. So, start with this 8, and we're going to end with this 8. And I have a tutorial, you can look it up on how to do XY chains. It's kind of like the alternate to bifurcating. So, you got the strong links within the bi value cell, 8 to the 4, and then a weak link up here to the next one. You always got to, if you're leaving the cell from a 4, you got to enter in the next one in a 4. 8 to the 4, 4 to the 8, right? 8 to the 4, 4 to the 3, right? 3 to the 4, 4 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 3 to the 6, 6 to the 8. So you end in an 8 here and an 8 there. What it means is if this was not an 8, that would be an 8. And if this was an 8, uh, either way, you have an 8 in one of these two spots. So this can never be an 8. That's a 3. I think that's probably going to crack our puzzle. All right, and so I'll just get rid of this. And you'll see, yeah, right here that 
since they're mostly bye value cells, uh, it's, the puzzle's cracked. Well, this is a fun, fun little classic. Thanks, Treganus. Uh, it was one of the first Sudoku handmade classes I did was a puzzle by Treganus. I'll put that in the end for you to kind of look at. Um, make sure you check out some of these other videos from my channel. Thank you, Gurganis, for giving me permission to feature your puzzles on my channel. This was a fun little solve. Hopefully, you can check it out, too. I'll put a link where you can solve it as well. Uh, in the meantime, look out for some of those collabs. Look out for some new things coming from my channel. I really appreciate all that you're doing. Everyone who supports me, I hope you have a great, safe, and enjoyable holiday season. Thank you so much for watching.